What's going on YouTube? This is Joe's McFly. Hit you up with another video to some Yankee off-season news and rumors. First of all, first of all, first of all, congratulations to our baby bombers, Silver Sluggers, Aaron Judge, and Gary Sanchez. Woo! First of many. Hopefully, let's go. Wish you guys good luck, good health, and congratulations. Good job, guys. From this Yankee fan, as I'm sure all of the Yankee fans, we appreciate you, and I hope every year you use this to get better. Let's go, man. And in, in the news today, or rumors today, uh, one thing that really was coming out was really more of managerial candidates. It looks like John Flaherty is really serious about getting this job. He says that he's been waiting for this, his kids are grown up already, and he's ready to manage. He wants to get back into it, and he wants to be the Yankee manager. Let's see if Cashman does give him the opportunity. I think he should, just at least hear him out, uh, see what happens there. And um, David Cohn was also asked about it, and Cohn actually said that he wouldn't turn it down. I actually personally uh, messaged David Cohn. Hey, Mr. Cohn, I hate to bother, and I know that you're a super busy man, um, but with all these rumors, I just wonder if you're even interested in managing a team like this or even coaching altogether. He said, hey, Joe, man, congratulations on, on success this year. I would listen if Cashman called. Not sure if I get a shot or not. So he's basically saying that he's open to it. He's also said that he's had conversations with Cashman uh, for se you know several times now. So let's see what happens, man. Maybe David Cohn's name is thrown in there. Another name that it seems like he's a serious candidate is also Aaron Boone. Now you know you know what's the funny thing, and Robbie Thompson interviewed today. In his interview, he said it was very very thorough. Uh, and just to let you know how thorough it was, five to six freaking hours. And this is the guy that they know, five to six hours. So it's like, damn, this guy's been here 28 years, and it's like five to six hours. Maybe the conversation was just free-flowing like that, so it was just easy to talk to. They're probably talking about a whole bunch of other shit. I don't know, but I, it's just, it's just like... Five to six hours, these guys are doing a, a regular shift in there for an interview, this shit is crazy. He, he presented his plan, he did what, you know, he saw his vision for the Yankees, he says that he sees himself as a strong communicator, and he already built some strong relationships in that clubhouse already, and he feels passionate about this, and that no matter what, whether the Yankees choose him or not, he still wants to come back, that the Yankees are his team and his life and this is what he's known for the past 28 years so uh let's see i mean as john boy says it does feel like robbie thompson is kind of like you know it's kind of like he's in the friend zone with the yankees a little bit because i mean 28 years uh but let's see maybe they're more open to it now but i don't know uh, people were talking about Jerry Harrison Jr., but um, mostly a lot of press, and it was reported first by uh, Buster Only talking about Aaron Boone as a managerial candidate, and he was thinking about it. And one thing that Mark Feinstein actually said, he said, don't be fooled if Cashman is interviewing all of these people, because people were saying, oh wow, this guy's interviewing everybody and their freaking mother for this position. This is the Yankees, should be a little bit more secret. Don't be surprised if some of these people that are being interviewed are given coaches position or maybe Cashman is also trying to feel them out, trying to see, okay, maybe not manager, but I would fit you as a coaching position or I think you'd make a, a strong addition to the bench or, you know, doing things like that. Now, one thing that is kind of driving me freaking crazy is people's negative freaking connotation on these managerial candidates it's not like they managed before i understand if this is dusty baker and the, you've seen dusty baker manage and he basically you say oh i don't like the way that he acts in these situations i've seen him with the cubs i've seen him with san francisco i've seen him with cincinnati you know you see that and you say you know what i don't like him for the team okay fine but then there's people out there saying, oh, I don't want this particular guy because... And then they're throwing out stupid reasons out there. It's like, bro, have an open mind. Somebody saying, oh, I don't want Aaron Boone because of the way that he talks in Sunday Night Baseball. What? What the hell does that have to do with, with the way that, 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 he, that he's going to manage? 
I mean, that's like saying the way Joe Girardi was on the Buffalo, he was a little stiff, so he's not going to be in. He's not going to be a good manager. Hey, surprise, surprise, idiot! I mean, how was he as a manager for the last ten years? Tell me that. I mean, I don't think that has any bearings to do with that. I think we've got to have a little bit more open mind to that. I mean, I, I don't have any negative connotation on any of them. I'd rather hear, you know, what they have to say, you know, why they think that they're good for the job, hear what Cashman thinks, and then I'll make my own, you know, judgment on it. But there's people saying things like that. Look, I would love, I would love, 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 uh, a rod to manage and you know what Mike Aziza had this crazy tweet. He said, you know what? Make sure you hire Aaron Boone so that a rod can then come in and replace him later And then that thought that that tweet was golden. That was awesome. I would love Nothing more than to have Alexander Emmanuel Rodriguez Manage this team one because he's a great communicator Two, He, he has the buy-in with the kids three he is a bilingual manager, and I know I don't want to get into a situation where people are saying, oh, you need to be bilingual to be the manager. I don't think you need to be bilingual, but I think it'll be better to communicate with these guys. Um, and I think that Alex still puts that emphasis, like he told Gary, I need you to improve your English. But he can be able to say that with more buy-in from Gary because he's talking to him not only in Spanish, but he trusts him in other areas too. So he's more open to it. And there's a lot of people that are endorsing A-Rod as a manager. We're talking, you know, we're seeing, we're seeing um, uh, Carlos Beltran actually came out while he's contemplating his retirement. He also said, you know, A-Rod would make a great manager for the Yankees. And then you have CeCe Sabathia in the, um, in, the, in the podcast that he has with Ryan Rucco. You should definitely check out that podcast. It was a great podcast that they, that they had. A-Rod was in there being himself. I love that podcast just because you see players more of them being themselves. And I love that. I love that as a fan. I don't, I feel like you don't really see that enough. And yo, I just feel like CC's that dude, bro. Like CC's my nigga, bro. Like it just feels like, you know, like he's just a dude like from the from the block. You know what I mean? And it just feels like you could just talk to CC and he just feel, and he comes across so personable. And you know, I see him in Jesus and Merrill too. And you know, different kind of interviews. And when, when he's himself, it just seems like he's a real cool down, down to earth dude. And even though he's not from New York, that dude's New York, bro. He looks like he's wearing Tim's. He looks like he's wearing Yankee fitteds. He definitely looks like he's from New York. Uh, so that's good. You know, I love CC for that. But definitely check out that podcast. Very good podcast. A Rod being himself out there cursing, throwing F bombs. I was surprised. I'm like, A Rod, you curse? What? And that was funny. For you to say, I don't want Robbie Thompson because of something, because I seen how he was in a game where Joe Girardi was thrown out of that game and he made bad decision. It's like, huh? How does that make sense? We all know that Joe Girardi, even though he was thrown out of the game, he's still the de facto manager from the clubhouse. They're sending somebody, he's sending signals, he's telling them what to do, you know? And there was one time I think Joe missed the game for graduation. Fine, if you want to say, oh, you didn't like that decision, but the sample size is too freaking small. Give these guys an opportunity, have an open mind. Of course, Joe Girardi had a manager of the year under his belt by the time he came in, but guys, you don't really know who it's going to be. It doesn't have to be a Yankee great to come in. I would, you know, I would love David Cohn to be in there because it just seems like he has more in tune with the analytics, you know, Francesca was saying that with conversations that he's had, he, you know, with his personality, he looks like he don't fit well with these young kids, plus David Cohn has done it all. And, you know, that would be, that would be fine. Flaherty would be fine. I mean, it just, let's see what the candidates can be able to do and trust in Cashman. Trust in Cashman. A lot of people in the comments for the last video saying, oh, I don't know, man, that that firing and even from different videos, I don't know about the firing, bro. It's like, listen, relax. In cash, we trust. That's all I have to say. He maybe sees something that we do not see. Girardi is a great manager and nobody's faulting him for that, but maybe he does not fit this particular group to develop them to being, or maybe even other players coming up to being other things. You know, we don't know. And, you know, maybe Al Padrique gets a chance. But I think that we all need to, you know, have that kind of open mind uh, to the, and I know I said that a lot right now, but have that kind of open mind to whoever's coming in.
The other thing, and then this is the last bit of news here. Gianni Otani will be posted. Otani shall be posted. The Nippon Ham Fighters already said that they're going to be posting the Japanese Babe Ruth, as they call him. I have a couple of thoughts on this. I really do like the Yankees' chances for signing Otani. When there's smoke, there's fire. The Yankees have been building up this international signing bonus money to now have the second highest. I believe the Rangers have the first highest. And then after the Yankees, it is the Twins. So the Yankees are right there. Big time market. Exciting. They got Tanaka effect. They, they got the Tanaka effect. They have the Matsui effect. You know, maybe they can couple those things together along with their representatives. Talk to him. Be able to get him over and have him, you know, you could use the DH spot. There's a lot of things you could do with Otani. It's just, it's amazing. And you, if you look at video on this guy, look at this guy right here, guys. Look at this guy. This guy can hit, guys. He can hit, you know, you can put him at DH, he can be able to hit, he can pitch. You know, I think that because of the injuries that he had last year though, I think that the Yankees, even if they get Otani, they should still sign CC just because you need a reliable in innings eater. And because of Otani's injuries that he's had, he had he had surgery on his ankle or something like that also, you know, he, he didn't build up the innings this year. So you know what, take it easy on him. Even if he does sign, bring him, bring him along slowly, start him off maybe in the minor leagues. And you know, for the first month or so, to limit his innings and then bring him up to, you know, slowly or whatever it is. But next year is going to be hopefully Otani, Gleyber Torres, um, you know, and it's going to be a great year, guys. We just, we really need to understand the Yankees are still ahead of schedule. Still ahead of schedule. Signing Otani would be great because you can give him the international signing pool money and then you're paying him the league minimum. You're paying him the minimum to be on your team, which is great for that $197 million goal. I mean, I still think the Yankees should sign another veteran back, um, you know, try to get Todd Frazier. I don't know if he's gonna sign for a hometown discount though, that I don't know, uh, but we'll see with that. Uh, see if the Yankees can be able to finagle something, Cashman can do some selling, I don't know, maybe Todd Frazier feels, uh, let me do a one, one and done deal, you know, or. Uh, one on the opt-out kind of thing and try to increase my value for next year, you know. Um, maybe. I don't know. That I don't know. He's a great clubhouse guy. I would love to have that guy back. And he's uh, he's another guy that's New York. You know what I mean? Down to earth dude and it's just really New York, man. But let me know in the comments, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm doing a big time sale on my hats. I have all sorts of different kinds of hats. Like these kind of hats, the reaction hats. Like I'm doing them as you know, as much as 50% off. Like a, you know, kind of like a celebration for the season. Uh, make sure you do go to my website. And we're gonna have this sale. It's gonna be a limited time though, so make sure you go to www.pinstripesstrong.com and to be able to go check it out. Order your hats, and then you can be able to hit me up, take a picture with it, I'll retweet it, show everybody, and things like that. But, uh, but let's go, man. But um, Q and A also, uh, because I'm going to be doing the Q and A on Sunday. People have already been leaving Q and A questions, and uh, in my other video, we're going to get the videos rolling. We're going to be able to talk about all of the great, great, great Yankee news. There's so much every day is always something coming out, um, and. Guys, stay positive. Like I always say, make sure you do keep the pinstripes on, keep them strong, and let's go Yankees. Man. Peace.